A West Beach grandfather has become the first Australian to be implanted with the world's smallest pacemaker. The revolutionary trial at the Royal Adelaide Hospital could give a new lease of life to thousands of heart patients every year. 69-year-old Glenn Cleanthus's heart was a ticking time bomb. My heart was actually stopping for up to three and a half seconds per time. That was until last week when he became the first Australian to be fitted with a tiny, leadless pacemaker. The revolutionary device, around the size of a AAA battery, implanted under local anaesthetic at the Royal Adelaide Hospital. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Uh, I've got faith in, in the doctor I'm dealing with. The device works like a normal pacemaker, except all the leads and battery are internal. It's inserted through a sleeve into the major vein in the leg, delivering it directly into the right ventricle. Once in position, the mini pacemaker is attached to the wall of the heart and the sleeve is then removed. This is going to be the future of the way we pace patients. Mr Cleanthus was awake during the procedure, which can be performed in under 20 minutes. So I was expecting a marathon, that didn't happen, didn't happen that way. Unlike a traditional pacemaker, this device isn't visible under the skin, reducing the risk of infection. There's also less chance of it dislodging, meaning a much faster recovery. Within a 24-hour period, the patient is up and about uh, and we actually try to get them mobilised over the next uh, couple of days. The device is currently part of a clinical trial but could be made publicly available within the next few years. This device can help around 20,000 people a year in Australia. A week since the procedure, Glenn has never felt better and is already back to walking five kilometres a day. If I had the old system, I would have been out of action for about four to six weeks. It was an amazing trip for me. I'm really happy with it. Jessica Stanley, Nine News.